Stardew Valley Update 1.6 playthrough. No mods, no speedrunning. We are going to check out all of the new stuff with the new update. This game is super cozy, super chill, and it's super amazing. Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back! Welcome back to MetaView Farm. It's the Chili Bean. Good to see you guys. Glad that you guys are here with me. It's actually, um, we're still doing like in the middle. Why can't I close that? There. We're still in the middle of doing that squid fest, so I think actually let's run on over there. We'll kind of do that just to get, I mean, another squid hat. I, you guys know how I love those squid hats. <laughs> so I think let's hop on on the brownie here and uh, we'll head on over there. Did I click that? No, I didn't click our things here. Hold up. We'll do that too. That one is seriously again? We did that last time. I mean, I'll do it. Bombs can't damage you, right? Yeah, yeah okay, I will, we'll do it. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys are doing well and thanks for coming. And uh, yeah, I'm not quite leaving on vacation quite yet. Um, things have been super crazy. I actually got, um, I had to go out of town, kind of, not like unexpectedly, but like I wasn't really sure like how long for like an out of town, like federal jury duty thing. So I actually had to like drive for like two and a half hours to get to it so it was kind of crazy and um yeah you know you never like know how long you're gonna have to be there so anyway it actually wasn't wasn't too too long and so uh yeah so i'm back i can probably hopefully i could get a couple more days you know or like a couple more episodes in before i leave on vacation so that's exciting looking for the butterfly do i have to like stop for her to like show up i don't know how this works <laughs> The one time I like went looking for the butterfly and like I literally didn't stop and I never ever ever saw her. But then like other times I just like stopped and she just like appeared. So if I just stop here, is she just gonna appear? Like I, I don't know. I, it happened like while well, like last episode actually while we were like checking out the wandering trader, she just appeared. Like literally she wasn't there before and so I don't know. Oh you know what? Maybe she's like up in the I don't know. Here, I'll stop again. I don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll, <laughs> I'll jump to where I actually find her, and uh, <laughs> until then, I'll cut all the rest of this out. Oh, here. Here she is. Never mind. I won't cut anything. <laughs> here she is right there. Okay, what are we gonna... Money. Okay, so the one time she gave us, like, that prismatic shard last time, so that was really cool, but... Okay. I guess I should actually like figure out how much money she gets because I haven't really paid attention so it'd be easy enough to do during editing just look and see what the money was before and stop requested yo what <laughs> that is not right okay hold up okay I'm editing right now you guys I'm just at the prismatic here okay hold up so let's go back to before we found it all right for sure there's the money did I do this wrong? Okay, okay, hold up. And then fast forward to after we got it. Yeah, we got it right here. Okay, here's the money. Make it bigger so I can actually see it. One, two, nine, eight, one. I did that right. Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay, I'll try this again because that's the answer that I got. 21,900. That's crazy. Okay, try it again. Okay, so one, two, nine. Eight, one four zero okay so that was the what we ended up with and then mm, subtract from what we started off with it'll tell us like the difference one two seven six two three two yo the prismatic butterfly gave us twenty one thousand dollars that's crazy though that <laughs> what? wow okay i i had to check that like a couple times awesome <laughs> Wait, what do you guys need? I forget. Oh, because I haven't looked. Dried cactus and coconut jelly. Um, yeah, that, that, that might be a tough one. Dried cactus, you have to have five. Yeah, and you have to have five of like the same thing that stacks together. So that's kind of wonky. All right, but anyway, let's head on down. We'll, we'll catch all the squid again. I got like the bait. Yeah, I got like 11 things of bait on our fishing pole here so that we can catch just squid. How many do we need? Ten. Oh, yikes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then after we catch all the squid that we need, because I, I would like to get another one of the squid hats. 
So after we catch the squid, we're probably, I mean, probably not today, but definitely sometime this episode, maybe tomorrow, we will head back to Ginger Island. I'm going to remember to bring the copper pan. I'm going to remember to bring the slingshot because I wanted to try a couple things out. Last episode, I kind of, we kind of talked with the, what is his name, Professor Snail? And he reminded, well, he said, I asked for a hint. Because so I was like, we haven't been finding any more, like, bones. So I asked for a hint, and he said something like, check the waters, fish like to, I don't know, nibble on ancient bones. So I was thinking, so we like, fish, I don't know, maybe, like, a ton, but I kind of feel like a fish, like, everywhere, haven't found any. And then I saw, like, the, I don't know, the little, like, shimmering in the water, and I remembered that copper pan. And I thought, you know, maybe we better bring that copper pan back. So we're gonna do that. Oh man, we we've kept, we've caught different fish rather than squid, so we're gonna run out of bait. It doesn't seem to be working anyway. <laughs> all right, we used up all our bait. <laughs> gonna have to run back to the house and throw one of these squid in the little bait acre. Oh, that's so much better. And I threw the sonar bobber on there so we can see. I mean, just because. I kind of wonder if you could use, like, the bobbers, like, until they're almost broken, and then still sell them for full price. <laughs> we should try that. I like trying out new things if you guys didn't know. <laughs> what would happen if we do this? What would happen if we do that? Okay, one more squid is all we need, and then we'll be done, and we could get that squid hat. All right, there we go. Okay, sweet, here we go, we are done. We've got all 10. Hello, get our rewards. Mainly that squid hat, that's what I wanted. <laughs> and I think, I think we have to. Oh, I should have brought the other squid hat down here and put the other squid hat on Bounty. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so cute. Oh, interesting, you guys. The brand new one that I haven't used at all is worth two fifty, and the one that I did use at least a little bit is worth one eighty seven. So it does look like they kind of proportionally like reduce the price. So that's actually fascinating. Two hundred for that trap bobber, and then one fifty for that one. Because I mean, I don't know. Did I use like twenty five percent of it? Is that why they took away twenty five percent of the money? I mean, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. <laughs> and so that answers my, my answer. I can't, like, cheat and just sell it for real price. <laughs> oh, we only have two squid hats. Is somebody wearing a squid hat? I thought we had three. Okay, neither of the kids are wearing a squid hat. Oh, they run in bed. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I've never seen them run in bed before. Seven o'clock bedtime. <laughs> You're like, you can't even see them either. <laughs> They're both like so like low in the bed. You can barely see the top of, I don't even know who it is. <laughs> that's funny. But anyway, okay, so animals. One of the animals maybe has our hat on. Okay, so Meowy has the frog hat on. Where's Ruger? No, Ruger has like that, that like not top hat, but like that um, uh, fedora. No, what happened to our other squid hat then? Okay, let's find it. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, okay, there, there, okay. We do have all three. All right, sweet. But we don't have four, so like we can't put it on all the animals and me. Darn, okay, well, we'll goals. Goals for next year. <laughs> What more is good at? Okay, finally, we finally found I have been looking for the copper pan for a very long time. Finally found it. Now I'm just kind of grabbing stuff like that we want to take to Ginger Island with us. I think we're going to take the parrot egg. I want to I want to try to remember to put that on and like have it on when um when Leo's right there. So <laughs> we'll see what he has to say. And then last episode, I showed you guys where the little souvenir stall guy he had, I, he had said, like, something about bring those, like, glowing green bars, uh, I think, like, on the last day of the season. But honestly, I'm thinking about it right now. It's not close to the last day of the season. But if I don't take them to Ginger Island, I probably won't remember. <laughs> so I'm going to take them there. <laughs> and then as far as this little Q challenge, find 100 red. So I'm thinking 100, like, raspberries. Yeah. Or salmon berries. Yeah. 
Let's bring a hundred of these. And then yellow, maybe we'll just bring sap? I think we should have, oh yeah, oh gosh, we have plenty. Okay, a hundred yellow, and then maybe we'll just bring fiber green. What else? Orange? Let's see, will copper ore work for, where's this? Will this work for orange? I mean, it's kind of orange, right? We'll see if that works for orange. And then what else? Blue. Oh, here, blue. Blueberries. Oh, that would be easy. We'll do blueberries. And then purple. Yeah, we like hardly have any. So we have we have 50 of them growing at the at the island. So I think let's just use let's just use the eggplants from there. I mean, eight. We could grab them, but <laughs> we'll still wait for all of the other 92. So Anyway, okay, so there's the red, orange, red, yellow, orange, green, blue, and then not all of the purple. I don't remember if there's another color, but let's, let's jump in bed real quick. Hi, Sam. I'm actually going to go to the island. It's fun to see the babies play with each other. I think they're going to be close. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I'm going to go to the island, so I probably won't be home today, okay? Love you. Bye. Oh, I'll, I, I guess I should say goodbye to the kids. Bye, Noah. Mwah. Mommy loves you. Bye, Nyla. Mommy loves you. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm trying to kiss her. Oh, no, I guess I can't. I can't actually kiss the kids. <laughs> I can only kiss them. Not trying to threaten them with a sword, you guys. That, that wasn't what that was. Oh, yeah. How did I forget this? <laughs> okay, we'll definitely only stay one night at the island. <laughs> Hi, Ruger. I didn't mean to push you. So sorry. Actually, I'm going to pick these up, and I'm going to take these to the island. I wonder if we can catch, like, new things in the waters on the island. I mean, I don't know that I could even set them up there. And then I guess I don't have bait. Let's buy some bait from Willie. Hi, Willie. Can I buy some bait from you, please? Thanks. And then I'll ask you pretty please to take me to the island once again. <laughs> I promise, Willie. I will get that warp as soon as I can. I'm sure Willie is so tired of driving us back and forth. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Let's see. Let's first... We'll go back to the the mermaid thingy on the rock now that it's raining. But let's first like drop off some of this stuff because we have so much stuff in our hands. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna pick the blueberries because I have a hundred exactly, and and I just don't want to like miscount. So, but I definitely want to check on the frog to see if the garlic is grown. Okay, so I get to guess we toss it in here. Yeah. So there's that, 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 that. Is that? Okay, it says ding, so now what? Okay, so, oh, so the counted. I see how this is working. All right, so perfect. So all we need to do, well, here, I mean, I guess we can put, can we do that? Okay, but, it, and it, I'm going to guess that it, like, shows a, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, good, good. All right, well, good. Get that stuff out of our pockets. Let's go check with the little froggy. See if the garlic is, like, full grown, and he's going to give us the walnuts for that. Oh, the garlic is full grown. I can see it. Okay, nice. Perfect. A sunfish frenzy has begun in Cinder's Up for us. No. <laughs> Those fish frenzies are crazy. I would like to see the zesty ground fruit, which makes thy breath stink. <laughs> are you... Do you have something to show me? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Gurp. Yes, I ate this once long ago. It gave me a pungent aroma for days. <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully he... Maybe he wants blueberries. Cribbit, yes, you've made me... Oh, let's see, you've done me a great service. You've given an old toad one last trip down memory. Oh, one last... Okay, so maybe one last reward. All right. That was five. Okay, nice. But he says one last, so he's not going to want... Yeah, he's not going to want us to have anything. Okay. All right, well, darn. All right, you know, the last time I was here, I only actually fished out of the other side. So I'm just going to real quick see if anything's different on the left side. Oh, we got, oh, we got another frog hat. <laughs> All right. No, I'm happy with that. I love the frog hat. It's so cute. Okay. Actually, let's run back to the, to the mermaid thingy and see. And now that our pockets are a little bit more empty. Let's go see what the little mermaid thing actually hold up first. <laughs> first, let's see if we can do this. I mean, we probably can. Oh, we can. Okay, good. All right. Well, yeah. Then, then we'll do these. Just uh, yeah, cool. Okay, perfect. Because we'll probably just stay a night here. 
Run, Krabby, run! <laughs> okay, so she's back. Okay, I'm gonna read the thingy again. Okay, it was a rain drenched day upon a lonely rock, the beautiful maiden there. Okay, I'd heard of the seaborn maiden singing siren songs, yet nay, a note she could muster. The next morning, I spied an arrangement of those. Okay, so we came back the next morning, and there was nothing here. Tonight, right now, or today, I should say, in the rain, there's still, like, an arrangement of stones upon a foamy bay. So, like, right here is an arrangement of stones, and this isn't normally here. And so this is, like, a note. I don't know what this is. This is a, it's that. It's the flute block. What do you need? You need wood, copper, and fiber. I have to go back, because at the... At the farm here is where we have copper bars. Hopefully we have some. <laughs> I didn't remember what we needed exactly. So let's see if we have enough copper ore. Um, I think maybe, yeah. Wood and then fiber. All right. Okay, hopefully we have enough to make all that we need. Let's see. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I, I actually didn't know how many. Oh yeah, we only have 34 copper left. I've kind of been leaving it here so that I can make more bombs, <laughs> so I'm really glad that we have an abyss. Okay, so if we put one there... Oh, wait. I'm not going to be able to, like, see. Because it says stones as big as one, so they're, these are worth one, and then stones as big as five, so those are worth, like, five. So I want to say that this is 2, this is 11, this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, this is 5, and this is 5, 6, 7. I'm not exactly sure if that's right, but we'll listen to the 2. So we'll go, we'll put this down, and then we'll go 1, 2, and then what is this, 5, 10, 11? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, if that's right. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one is one, two, three, four, five. And then this one is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then let's run through it. Oh, there, there, there. That is it, you guys. Yeah, could you hear that? Yeah, 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 for sure. Here, listen. Oh, no. I guess we don't need this one. If you guys remember, like, the mermaid song? Yeah, that's her song. Oh, and then she waves. She did that, like, right before she left. So then you, like, run through here. <laughs> that was, like, her song. Okay, fun. <laughs> so cute. Yay! <laughs> All right, well, fun. So we can just leave that there. I mean, so these note blocks are kind of, or flute blocks, they're kind of fun because you can, like, basically, like, click on them and make, you know, like, all sorts of different tunes and stuff like that. So I haven't really screwed around with them too much other than, like, trying to figure out that song. But, yeah, so that's fun. So how many did they give us? They gave us five? Oh, that's 22! I think that's enough to go and buy that. That, like, warp home, though. Let's go look. Hello! Oh, yes! Sweet! Okay, so we do... Oh, that's so awesome! We do get to buy this, or, or have them build it for us, I should say. <laughs> nice! Oh, boom! Okay, that looks amazing, too. That looks so good. So you, you basically, like, you right-click on it. I won't do it now, because it'll send us back home immediately. And uh, then we wouldn't be able to, like, stay, so... That's so cute, though. I love the way that it looks. It just looks so good. Let's check it out in the daytime. All right, so I say let's go click on the door, and we'll see, like, kind of what our progress is. Okay, so we found 118 out of 100. Wow, really? I, I'm wondering, like, where on earth the other ones are. So, I mean, we still have some to get from Professor Snail, and... I'm trying to think if there's other... Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I guess there's a there's a, another thing that I can think of that we haven't solved yet. 
But I mean, yo, I, I, that's a lot. That's 12. I'm not sure, like, all together if I know where all 12 of them are going to be. So I'm pretty sure we solved all of the journal scraps. Because the the mermaid on Lonely Rock was the last mermaid. Uh, <laughs> the last mermaid. The, <laughs> the last journal scrap. Oh, I'm, we got a diamond out of there. That's crazy. That was nice, though. <laughs> but yeah, the, the mermaid on the rock thingy was the last journal scrap that we hadn't solved. Oh, the birds gave us one of these. That's really nice. We got a warp so that we can like, so I guess that sounds kind of nice that they gave you one of those because if you accidentally click on the thing, because you're like, whoa, what is this? If you accidentally click on it and it sends you home, then you'd be like, dang. <laughs> so it is nice that they give you one of these so that you can at least come like right back. <laughs> Okay, emptied up our pockets a little bit. I put, like, the radioactive bars in here. Yo, look how much money we could get from that. That's insane. <laughs> anyway, I threw those in here just so, like, when we go to the little souvenir shop on the last day, we we have the bars here because, yeah, chances are I would forget them. Okay, best luck ever today. So maybe it would be a good idea to, like, try to go in the mines a little bit. It's still raining. Dang. <laughs> I didn't want it to be raining. <laughs> I kind of like want to check things out when it's not raining. I did bring the copper pan and I did bring the slingshot, but I I really don't want to be outside in the rain. So unfortunately, I, I oh oh sweet you guys, <laughs> these are ready. I don't think yeah we're only gonna get one from each, so we're only gonna get fifty of them today. But I wasn't actually planning on these being right, so nice. We'll pick these. But yeah, let's go to the volcano and see if we can run through there and get some more of the dragon teeth. I'm pretty sure we actually have enough dragon teeth to get the warp, you know, warp from our farm. But, I mean, I'd still like to have some extras just in case. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the slingshot here. I'm going to leave the copper pan here. And I know it's kind of silly, but I really don't, <laughs> I really don't want to spend any more time outside that I have to. Alright, so I equipped our parrot egg. And it basically is because I want to go and find Leo. <laughs> I haven't actually said hi to Leo since we've been here. And if we want to get our friend levels up, which we need to, we have to 100% everybody. So, <laughs> need to go find Leo anyway. But I want to like see if he's going to have any sort of reaction. Oh my gosh, it's so much quieter in here. <laughs> It's true. I was shouting so much just because it was so loud on my ears. Look, Leo, look, look, I have my own parrot. Oh, he says, okay. So it would be really cool if they would, like, I don't know, react or something. Look, parrot, look, I have, like, a baby you. <laughs> Three hidden in the west. Really? Still. Okay, that actually surprises me. I guess... The frog was not... Oh, yeah, I mean, the frog wasn't any of them. Okay, Rip, where on earth are they going to be? Huh, okay. Well, we will figure that out later. We are going to go to the monkey now. Since it's best luck ever. Oh my gosh, I love this music. Okay, hopefully with best luck ever, we find a couple dragon teeth today would be great. Oh, nice! We got one dragon tooth! Sweet! Alright, there's another dragon over there. Let's... Oh, sweet! Okay, that was perfect. I like the place that the ice rod froze that dude this time. Usually it's like, freezes them in like, such a pain, but... That one was good. There's been a really good amount of center shards on the ground. That's big cool. Okay, any dragon. Oh, nice. There's one. Oh, that's so good.
Oh, nice. I forgot that the <laughs> ice rod will freeze that little dude, too. That, that is absolutely amazing, honestly. <laughs> Alright, and then we are actually going to go and use our warp, and the thing that you do is you just, like, right-click on it, and it just instantly warps you back. Yeah, it warps us back, us back to the farm. What would we have gotten? Blessing of friendship. I mean, that would have helped with Leo, and then that wouldn't have helped either. So, I know that it's late, but I am going to run to the night market. Super quick. Yay! Even though, like, it's late and things are closing up, the music still plays. <laughs> Have we really not gotten Rare Crow number seven? I thought for sure I got that. I wrote it on the list that we don't have it. Maybe I, I don't know, we'll buy another one just in case, but I, I thought we had that one. And then this one's number eight. Oh, we have to have this one. I thought we had this one too. <laughs> I, I don't know if I, if I know, hmm. I, I, okay, I mean, I'll grab it. I, I kind of like who we have it somewhere, but I couldn't, like, find them. I have writ wrote down that we need three, seven, and eight, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll buy them. They're only 5,000 each. And then I'm just going to listen to the music until I warp back to the farm with this dude. <laughs> Look, we have a bird too. <laughs> it's like identical to that. Oh, we gotta go. It's 1.30. <laughs> Hi, yeah, uh, please. Thank you. All right, I love that music so much. <laughs> oh, we gotta get in the house. Can't even put the rare crows away because, yep, <laughs> it's late. Oh, okay, we did have that rare crow, like, but it's like planted in our garden. <laughs> That's why it's not in the chest, but yeah. And then I'm pretty sure we got this, like, I'm pretty sure we got this one somewhere, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. So number five. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there. So we have one, two. We're missing number three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we are missing number three for sure. I mean, unless I look at number three and I'm like, oh, yeah, we already have that one. <laughs> But I don't know what number three looks like right now, so we'll have to try to find it. Oh, we only needed one more banana. Oh, that's so tempting to go back to Ginger Island just to pick one banana, but, <laughs> but we won't. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of the frog. Me wants to take a bite, but me won't. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do today, honestly. Yo, this is what we're going to do today for a little bit. Okay, I'm actually going to move stuff around. These things actually frustrate me. Because, like, if you walk, if you walk, like, through here, and you're trying to, like, fill them, they won't necessarily fill the ones that you want them to, so I'm not going to have these, like, preserved jars and the uh, kegs, like, right next to each other. Or, like, up and down. Why am I not hitting what I want to do there? <laughs> like, top and bottom of each other. Oh, actually, that reminds me. We need to go and check our cellar. I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking the cellar should be done. It's the 16th of winter. I actually don't remember the date that we filled that up. I could go back and look on episodes. Okay, it is. It is done. We're going to need more than that. We'll get in here. We'll grab. Okay, we will fill all of these up. I should probably, like, write down in my Stardew notebook. The date that I'm filling these. I kind of think they take two months, but I don't like 100% remember. Alright, well we are obviously going to make a good amount of money. We just got 113. That's how many are in there at like total. So 113 of those, and then we have just a ton of extras of these. So we'll just pop those in too. Oh, so we got our red hoodie while we were in the... <laughs> In the school, not school cavern, in the volcano. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Okay, we'll go throw this in the dresser. I am going to go and dye some clothing. Maybe not like this episode, but like soon. I want to go. <laughs> I want to try to get a purple hoodie. All right. Well, we were busy. Yeah, this this entire time was spent dinking around in the production ship there. <laughs> So, we'll pet our animals because we don't have an auto-petter in here. 
And they actually get kind of bummed out if they don't get petted. Oh, perfect timing. The night market is open and I just got done. Yeah, just kind of doing general thing like, around the farm stuff. Oh, I totally ran by this. I didn't even notice it. Uh, what is this? I have the urge to make omelets. So two dozen eggs or collecting wood. That takes effort. I won't do that one. I'll let my chickens do the work. <laughs> In case you wonder like what I do while I'm just listening to the music at the night market. Sometimes I fish. Sometimes the horse and bird die. Just do this. <laughs> All right, little house decoration <laughs> and bedtime for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I wonder if there's a way to like make a million, like, you know, it, if that would count since there's not enough like digits there. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Does that give us two million? Oh, it totally does. It gives us two million, you guys. <laughs> Man, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I kind of feel like staying around Stardew. I feel like obviously we've done like so much running around to the, obviously to Ginger Island, like so much. But then like also like just to the desert, you know, just kind of like in Skull Cavern a lot and all of that. I just kind of feel like I kind of want to just stay here in Stardew, run around, see, you know, if there's things that we're missing, things that I've totally forgotten about because like as soon as you know, we had access to Ginger Island. I just have been obsessed with going over there. <laughs> so we'll just run around and see, you know, like if, if Robin has any more, you know, stuff to do for us and um, just things like that. So we will head up north and visit Robin, see if things are different. I mean, you know what? We haven't even like checked out all the shortcuts that she made for us, you guys. We checked out the shortcut right down here. And then I think the reason that we didn't like check out any of the other shortcuts is because like we just haven't been here. We haven't been like running around. So let's actually go up and see, like just look around the trade station, see if anything's new up here. Okay, nothing new up here. I am gonna go talk with Robin just to see, you know, like yeah, if there's new things, yeah, okay, so okay, so the house renovations, she can like close things, she can actually let's have our crib removed. I mean there's no reason to have a crib in the house anymore so there we go oh boom <laughs> that was a bit extreme though like <laughs> i don't know maybe like could have given that crib to somebody else rather than like just blown it up so close the dining room shrink the corner room remove remove re okay that's all okay there okay so we've made everything except i still haven't made a cabin yet you guys <laughs> I haven't really like figured out where I want it. And um, yeah, I've honestly totally kind of forgotten about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have forgotten all. Oh yeah, you can tell I've forgotten all about this. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't this much stuff like when we first came up here. This is crazy. All right, we're gonna need bombs to like take care of all this. Okay, we'll just put the bombs that we can put up there. Can't put too many yet. Oh, this swiftness on this pickaxe is so amazing. Wow, a few like well-placed bombs and swiftness on the pickaxe and this place is like clean it up quick. I wonder if you can get swiftness on your uh, tree axe too. Wow, like look at our energy. I have not had a hard day's work in so long. The only time like I've ever like kind of gotten low on our energy is when like I've totally, you know, not gone to bed <laughs> and stuff like that. And we started off with low energy, but... Like, this time, we started off with a normal amount of energy today. I'm gonna go, like, check out the... Oh, gosh. It's been so long since I've been inside of here, too. 
This was a lot of work to get this done, but it looks so nice. And I love that, like, everybody uses it and, you know, like, comes and people, like, sit in here and people, like, do stuff. And it's just a lot of fun. Final day of the night market. Actually, this painting looks kind of cool. I kind of wish that there was, like, more wall space. Because I feel like our walls are like totally packed. I don't know where I'd put it, but I like your painting. How much is it? Oh. Uh, okay. I'll buy it. Land of clay. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we'll see if we can find a place. Oh, and then it's like white. That's kind of cool. We'll see if we can find a place at the Ginger Island to put that. Eventually. Maybe. If I remember. <laughs> Actually, you guys, you know what? I, I haven't done like an, an outro at nighttime in quite some time, and this place is total fire, and I think I'm gonna do the outro here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally never noticed that the bird like sits on your head. Look at that. <laughs> he like stops flying and just sits on your head. I I guess I never like sit still long enough to notice that. That's so funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little, I don't know, just it's just me, like, you know, just being me. Doing what I like and <laughs> like this music. I, I do like it. I, I absolutely love it. It's just super chill. I probably should have, I don't know, caught some fish, but I didn't want to. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being here. Hope that you guys have an amazing day. Until you, we see you next time and many of you, take care, everyone. And um, I, again, I don't know like how many more episodes I'll be able to sneak in before I leave on vacation, but um, I'll do what I can. And um, anyway, <laughs> so if uh, you don't see me for if you don't see videos for a little bit of time, that's why because I'm gone for a full week. Anyway, take care and have an amazing day. <laughs> Bye, guys.